Uh, 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 hello and boy howdy. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be casting some WCS today. Um, let me just... Actually, can we do this together? Will this work? Will this will this be screen region? I have a match lined up and good to go. We're going to cast Goblin versus I don't know who. Excellent. I can show you guys the Elgato stream deck and what I plan to do with it. So let's get rid of this button. Uh, deleted. We're going to go to uh, open. To uh, have to make a new icon. One second here. What? 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 The key creator's not working. What? One sec here. All right, I have to get a picture of Snake. We'll go with this one. This is like an old as fuck picture. Let's make that work. All right, so set from file. Okay, that's a horrible picture, but you know what? It'll cut it because at the top, I'm going to be like, excla oh my God, look at that exclamation mark. That's so perfect. Okay, then the file I need to open is going to be, uh, where did I download this to? Where did it download to actually? Here we go. Now, every time I press that button, it should go. Nice. What? What? We're gonna build our soundboard out, boys, one stupid button at a time. All right, let's get rid of that for now. I also kind of want to try something a little bit later on with game music, but you guys will have to wait and see what I'm talking about because it is crazy sauce ideas. Wait, Rip, did the stream hiccup or something? What? I don't see any drop frames. I'm like, all skeptical now. What's going on? Things are just going to break on me. Okay, so the stream. This is interesting. I suspected this happened before, but I didn't really. I wasn't able to confirm it because it hadn't happened twice. But unplugging my sound card to stop the stupid fuzzy robot noise will apparently restart the stream, which I'm not looking forward to if that's going to be the case today. But at some point, it may just have to happen. Feels bad, man. The problem is, that you guys need to understand is, okay, there's like three steps to this. There's the microphone, the thing the microphone plugs into, and then the computer. And... What I can do, which is kind of cool, is plug my microphone, or plug my, get like a headset and plug it into the thing that's in between so that I can hear what my microphone sounds like. But that, unfortunately, isn't what causes the robot noise. It's whatever is between these two. So being able to hear my own mic's not going to stop it from getting all robot -y on my side if it ends up happening. And I just need to find out if I'm hosting this match or not. Uh, I'm going to be casting Goblins game first here. And this is... <laughs> Excuse me. Ah. This is primarily due to the fact that uh, I don't I don't really know who his opponent is. Maybe this first round match will actually be amazing. But uh, I really want to see him versus Lily Kaneen in the second round. Which I think will be really fun. And Goblin, if you guys know... It's kind of a gross player. He's kind of a funny Protoss. I actually really... Uh, it, it's like 50-50. Half the time, I either really respect the crazy stuff he's doing, and the other half, I hate him for it. Like, <laughs> it'll be interesting to see. Um, hello, boys. Say when ready. Good luck, have fun. Application needs updating. What? Fuck that. No, thank you, phone. Stay the way you are. sleep out of my eye wow i am having a lot of trouble waking up today actually so today's gonna be like a double day um we're just waiting on goblin to ready up uh for me on my side 
I'm going to be casting a little bit of this this morning. To be completely honest with you guys, I probably will not cast the entire bracket. Um, the other part of it, though, is... Well, I also have to get some mail, but I'll talk about that later. No, don't lose that. I need that. Um, but we have a show match tonight at 6.30. It's going to be between uh, Game Time and Peely Peely and a best of three. And uh, I need the StarCraft logo. Hang on. StarCraft WCS, maybe? Hang on. I'm tabbed out, fam. Gotta find an image for this, because I wasn't given one. This one looks good. Uh, save, paste, Reno. Where do I put that? Uh, but yeah, we got a show match tonight, where we got some really, 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 really... I'm going to say this a couple more times, just to lay it in thick. Really big news to announce tonight. Uh, so don't miss it. If you do miss it, of course, you'll definitely find the announcements on Twitter and stuff, but uh, Yeah, there's some cool stuff going down tonight plus the actual show match itself. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the WCS Valencia Challenger qualifiers I'm not actually quite familiar with the WCS qualifier format as We haven't cast any of it this year. Actually. This is the very first WCS cast of 2017 here for base trade TV and spawning in the upper left side, we do have the blue Protoss Goblin. A man who likes his Stargates. With his opponent in the bottom right, the Challenger. I guess, whoa, that's why they call it Challenger Series, right? It's Hoimi. Actually, this just sounds like we're going to be talking about Heimerdinger or something. But. That's a different game, right? Who who plays other StarCraft games? Not me. My passion's intact. Get that check mark. Um, it is a PvP, and the PvP matchup has been all over the place, but also not all over the place. And what I mean by this, and this is what I find really, truly interesting, is uh, we, we saw it get set up early. Like, right off the bat, it became very clear that Disruptor... And Blink Stalker was going to be the go-to strategy, and a lot of folks would try and do it. But then, the meta evolved to the point where everyone tried to get around that specific build. And you see a lot of players start trying to go charge out Archons for timing. Then as time moved on, we started seeing Air Tech come into play. Now Phoenix are kind of a weird counter, which are always... It's, it's cool seeing the ever-evolving, changing matchup that is PvP. But, for me, I look at Goblin... And I don't think about any of that. I always just think that every time we see him play versus Terran, it's like six oracles. Uh, every time it's versus Zerg, it's like five Stargates, all oracles. Like, this guy can be really gross and really cheesy. Uh, I don't really know where he sits with PvP as far as, like, preferred strategy. But I know that this guy is not afraid to get down and dirty if he needs to. And that's a big part of why we picked the matchup. Uh, again, the first round is always going to have a lot of a lot of different players mixed and matched, but uh, this will lead directly into the winner of this play against Lily Kaneen. And while I didn't know Jaime was Protoss, I think a guaranteed TVP follow-up will be fun to watch because Lily Kaneen also plays the game a little bit different. But uh, Goblin setting up on the side for maybe just a warp in pylon does have a Stargate coming up behind us, as kind of expected. What happened, base trade? Why aren't you kating that much lately? Well, you heard him, guys. That's definitely not a typo for casting. We need some ace kates in chat to make Jensen1337 feel better. Uh, as far as why we aren't casting as much lately, we have been casting every single freaking day, my friend. And if you guys haven't seen, they, we have... Well, not we. I. I spend hours doing this, so please... Go do it. Uh, go to the events tab at the top of the stream. And we have the entire month of June laid out. There's still more stuff coming for that calendar that hasn't been posted yet. But you can see like 20 out of 30 something days have already been filled up. So uh, just check it out at the top of the stream. Please, please, pretty please. Uh, anyways, Jaime's attack will catch Goblin a little off guard. He was moving out, I guess, feeling like a little bit safe. Now this might work or not work for him. It's going to take a long time to tear down that Nexus. So I think you can... I certainly think he has time to buy as far as warping more units and defending. But uh, Jaime, of course, doing this off of a pylon. It's a slow warp in. That pylon hopefully saw the oracle. He may have been distracted by goblin stalkers and not looking. I'm unsure. But back at home, that mothership core has to be ready to overcharge. Now, he's done a great job something up with the pylons for them like this. Beautiful. This guarantees there's no safe spot for the oracle to just kind of chill out and kill probes with. 
But uh, even even if this Oracle doesn't cause that much damage, he did win the Stalker fight very, very, very much one-sidedly. So Jaime is going to be a little bit behind pretty much no matter what. And this Oracle's looking to just zap a couple of kills. Overcharge gets popped. Uh, might get a Sentry. That'd be a little bit greedy. Just wants to keep that Oracle alive. Uh, he doesn't exactly have several coming out behind this. What he's doing instead is warping into that slow pylon he had set up on the right side. This is going to be a great attack for Goblin as he comes in on that right side. There are going to be a couple of force fields and that might cause him some issues, but not for long. And I feel like the amount of time it's going to buy Jaime is not going to be enough to outnumber the Stalker's Goblin has. In fact, it's 9 to 4. Oh boy, and the, uh, the force fields aren't there either, so Jaime's going to take the losses. Stalker's going to just focus down the pylon. Not going to matter though, because it's a very quick GG. And map number 1 will go to Goblin. All right, uh, he did give me map order. What is map two? Odyssey. There we go. I haven't had to do map hosting in a while. It feels a little bit weird. Uh, Goblin, where are you on this list? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And then high H for Jaime, JK, LMNOP, QRSTUV, WX, Y, and Z. All right, so we're ready. You know what I should do for my stream deck is actually set up something useful instead of dumb memes that I have on it right now. I actually think it'd be great if I set up scene switching. I don't know why I've not thought about doing that yet. I guess it's because I got a remap hotkeys, but there you go, answer my question. It looks like we're going to hop into map number two. Pretty quick here, so let's just get into the game scene. Whoop. And of course, there are a ton of people covering a ton of different matches today, but also not to, uh, I guess, disregard the mainstream. So be sure to check all this stuff out, guys, on the Team Liquid sidebar if you want to find the other uh, streams that are currently streaming matches. It's going to be a bit of a free-for-all for these early rounds. And again, as we get deeper in, I'll probably be ducking out early and give way to the other folks. But we're still in it for now. And in the top left side, we've got the Blue Protoss Goblin. camera keeps breaking uh it's been an entire map pool and the camera keeps breaking at one point blizzard may fix this hopefully we can pray at the bottom right though uh what's that say time time to macro now double the marines <laughs> it's gonna be the red barotas i mean gotta respect a man who's brave enough to meme in his team's clan's profile picture Well, what was interesting for me about that game, I think first and foremost, doing some post-game analysis here, is that it was not a game that got decided by the Oracle. That was not a game where Jaime lost because Goblin cheesed him out super hardcore. That was just a very, very early snowball is the best way I can describe it. Like, the Stalker fight initially went so well for Goblin. He followed it up, and Jaime just didn't have anything for it. So, I think... Even if the Oracle wasn't part of the equation whatsoever, that Mothership Core was still in the main, nowhere close to the front lines, no pylons, feels bad, man. And uh, I think Jaime would still lose that game one way or the other. But that, for me, it's like not to take away from Goblin, but it is one of those things where I would have liked to have seen this Oracle do more. It really did get in and maybe distract his opponent at best. Also, yo! Quick question to those tuning in today. I know this is a little bit not related to StarCraft, but let's be honest, that's Base Trade TV in a nutshell, right? Uh, there's this sort, of, there's this new sort of Twitch Plays stream out there. I'm not sure if you guys heard of it, called Stock Stream Live. I'm not gonna lie, I've always been fascinated by stocks. I really don't know how to do them very well, but I've invested in a couple of stocks here and there on my own, and not really ever lost out hardcore. But uh, I've been, I've been so fascinated by this stream because it is something where folks in chat basically vote on what stocks to buy and sell and there's real money involved. And it, it's given me that itch. I really want to just like copy some of these buys that look really good, but 
also i'm like wow fucking tesla stock is expensive apple stock is expensive like all the big things i would think that would be worth investing in are uh little bit a little bit pricey a little bit uh but it's been really fun watching the stream because I, I i'm obsessed with these things even if i don't understand them so i don't know if anyone else is in that same category but uh, i am really really most interested i want to almost like i wish i could fast forward a month and find out like did they end up actually making money because they, they put in fifty thousand dollars and I think after like a couple days of this so far, they're still at about even. Um, no real big losses, but they've turned a couple of bucks in profit, which is cool. So I, I'm, I'm going to be keeping a close eye on that. But anyways, that's not StarCraft related. And as I said, get back to StarCraft. Now this goes horribly for Jaime right off the bat. That doesn't look so devastating, but now he has to walk away in range of the Stalkers. And as we can see, new Stalkers walking in from the south side. If he kills both of these for free, Jaime might as well tap out. Because the same effect as last game is going to come into play. Even if he was pumping out a Robo- Oh, the what health! The what health! Uh... Even if he was pumping out a Robo instead of this Twilight Council, I still think he'd be in a pretty bad spot. But for Jaime, if his if his best attempt here is to go for Dark Templar, that might save him from the Stalker fight like what ended his life last game. But Detection is going to be available to Goblin through the Oracle. Of course, Goblin is fully aware of just how badly he won that first little scuffle, so he's going to push the issue. And this, this pylon this is going to go down right away. In fact... If I was Goblin, <laughs> he wouldn't even need to really spend time here. You just push up to the main if he fully understood what was going on. But I guess this, the threat of a force field is always there, so he's going to play it safe. Of course, one of the stalkers falls over immediately because it got away with literally one HP. Uh, some shots going into the pylon because, yeah, he was afraid of exactly this, the overcharge. But, hey, if the overcharge is coming over here and the stalkers are making everybody look in the natural, it's like a sucker punch to the main as the Oracle's cruising on in. Actually, the Mothership Core has got some range on her. Damn. Damn. Well, there's the GG. There's the tap out. And ladies and gentlemen, Goblin will be the victor, taking a 2-0 swiftly through this PvP at the start of the day. But this sets up very nicely for our second round match of Lily Kanine versus Goblin, which is, of course, what we were looking at on the bracket. So... I'm going to go find him, reach out, poke out. Actually, is looking even online? Hey. He might be in the ladder game warming up. All right. Well, if Lily Kanine, for whatever reason, ends up not being available, uh, I see Mana in the bottom side. We got Beastie as well. A couple of matches. Zanster. Ooh, there's some really good folks looking to have some good games. But <sighs> Excuse me. Gonna go to a quick commercial break, and I'll see you guys in a couple of minutes.